Hello everyone, John Booter here. I'm going to be talking about a few of my photos that I've done with light painting and a little bit about how I did them, what tools I used, and what techniques. Uh, here's the first one. So on that one there, I used a battery powered light stick. It comes on a string and you can kind of twirl it around, which is exactly what I did. Ran around like a fool in the dark twirling it. And it was a lot of fun. It made it kind of a cool picture too. Now those battery powered light sticks are real good value in my opinion. They come in all different colors and you can get them pretty cheaply at a lot of hardware stores and stuff like that. Um, since they come on a string, it comes in handy if you want to do like an orb or infinity symbol or some you know shapes like that while you're in the shot. But they're pretty bright so you can take a picture where you're in it but you're not in it because there's no light falling on you and you still get a pretty cool background. Now another tool that has a lot of value for light painting, which y'all probably already have in your pocket or purse or whatever the case may be, is a phone. Uh, a lot of them have the LED flashlights on the back. I, know I personally use the iPhone, but I'm pretty sure the Androids have that as well. Now you can use the LED flashlight itself, which is pretty bright. You know, I always have that in my pocket, so it's it's uh, at hand, you know, easy to pull out and turn on. But you can also use the screen. Uh, you can get some apps probably I'm sure for Android but I know there's on on the Apple Store you can get some apps that help you with light painting like there's actually some that'll spell out words for you uh, line by line it's pretty cool like the programming involved I'm sure um, or you can get some to just display shapes and as you move it around it looks pretty cool what I like to do as well is just put a color on the screen now there's some apps you can select the color and select the brightness which is really good because if you're going to be light painting something you have to have your sensitivity turned up a bit because it doesn't really put out a whole lot of light like an LED flashlight does or a real flash you know an old-fashioned whatever you call them flashlight but uh, if you get your camera settings you know such that it's taking in the light from that screen it gives a nice soft light which is very handy to have and of course you can't go wrong with a flashlight I just recently bought this one, which I'm using sort of as a light source for this video, but I'll take it here. It's uh, made by Coast, and I bought it at Lowe's. It's real bright. Um, pretty cheap. It was, well, it was about 40 bucks. Might may or may not be considered cheap to you, but there's uh, a lot more expensive ones out there, but it's pretty nice. It takes four AAA batteries. And it makes a lot of light. A lot more than the old AA mag lights or even the 6-volt battery uh, the floating flashlight which is pretty good makes a decent amount of light but it's not a very clean um, light output to it if you kind of look at it when it's on a solid surface you can see the irregularities of it well that's pretty much it for part one uh, more to come a couple of the photos <laughs> currently in the challenge uh, on dpchallenge.com I didn't show them on the video, but uh, I'll probably cover that stuff in part two with a couple other techniques that I was working with before and still am. So, thanks for watching.